Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Today, let's talk about small cap mutual funds that have bet the Nifty Next 50 consistently. A couple of days ago, we saw three mid cap mutual funds that bet uh, the Nifty Next 50, only three mid cap mutual funds. The same number applies to small caps as well. Uh, some people have asked me, why are you comparing uh, mid caps and small caps with Nifty Next 50 and so on? I have already shown that the Nifty Next 50 has a risk and reward comparable to the mid cap 150 index from the NSE. And I have also previously shown, maybe even made a video of it, that uh, small cap mutual funds struggle to beat mid cap indices and uh, uh, mid small cap combination indices. And, and therefore, uh, if Nifty Next 50 is comparable to a mid cap index, then uh, then the small cap index will also find it difficult to beat the Nifty Next 50. So that's the reason why this compa comparison is, uh, is, in my opinion, natural and reasonably logical. So the, the, the point I'm trying to make again is that the Nifty Next 50 is all that you need for that uh, extra punch in your portfolio. If you tell people just uh, invest in a Nifty mutual fund, they feel like, oh, it's missing something. No, it's missing excitement. Nifty Next 50 is all the excitement that you need. It is uh, hard for a mid cap fund to beat it. It is hard for a small cap fund to beat it. So that's all you need. You can, if you want, uh 10% 20% of nifty next 50 that is enough for you then axis uh, top 100 uh, uh, axis nifty 100 index fund maybe that kind of a single fund may be useful for you but if you are willing to rebalance uh, with a higher allocation to nifty next 50 let's say 30% 40% nifty next 50 and so on uh, 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 then uh, you then it's possible for you to just handle all the uh, essentially get the entire market risk and reward by just sample the entire market risk and reward with just these two mutual funds. I will talk about this timing and rebalancing in subsequent videos and articles. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at rolling returns for the last one, two, three, four, five years from January 1st, 2013, the inception of uh, direct plans to June 19th, 2020. There are 21 small cap mutual funds, but uh, I have to remove uh the small one the the relatively young ones idbi invesco tata uh, boi edelweiss and uh, camera rebecco and principal small cap they don't have much of a history if you look at the number of rolling returns over one year it is less than thousand so i got rid of all of that and uh so you're left with about uh, 14 funds and only six out of 14 funds have got a performance consistency of greater than 70%. This means that if you take Franklin Smaller Companies Fund, uh, there are 604 five-year returns possible. Out of these 604, only 405 times the fund has bet the Nifty Next 50. So the performance consistency is 405 divided by 604 is equal to 67%. We are filtering out funds that have a performance consistency of 70% or more. So that's six out of 14 funds. And uh, even here over five years, funds like SBI, Axis, LNT, uh, Union Small Cap and HDFC, they have a very short uh, history. So uh, you have to be careful with these funds as well. Over four years, only four funds manage this. Three years, only three. Uh, again, four and two over two and one years. But the three small cap funds that qualified, the only three are the SBI Small Cap, Reliance or the Nippon India Small Cap and the LNT Emerging Businesses Fund. So uh, again, this means that uh, Nifty Next 50 is all the excitement that you need. I keep saying it again and again. This is a very simple, nice, robust portfolio. But please keep in mind, if you are using two index funds, you will have to uh, not only rebalance between equity and uh, fixed income, you also have to rebalance among uh, or, or you have to rebalance between Nifty and Nifty Next 50 as well. Otherwise things can go very lopsided. So I'll talk about that in subsequent videos. Again, this message is the same. Thank you. Bye-bye.